next seven <laughs> games. I'm going to send you two onto the pitch to close out our night. Oh my, oh my. Ground Zero versus the Rogans here and our final best of seven of the night. Hyperia at this point, I think we've already stated it enough. If we don't get a game seven, we'll be astonished. Uh, uh, Ground Zero are being put under pressure from the get-go here. And that will be the case of the entire series, hopefully, because our mind prediction is obviously Ground Zero. My heart prediction goes to the Grogans. It makes a phenomenal story with Riot having to win tomorrow as well. And if they do, they still get to Worlds and Ground Zero don't. That's usually where my heart goes to. What is the best story? And the Grogans winning here could be very much on the cards. That's a big thing here is, is that if they are able to take this win, not only is it probably upset of the season at this point, although Renegade's getting dropped by wait i dude every time i try to explain anything analysis wise someone hits a banger shores give me a second to breathe my friend how do you even hit that sailing across the top and i, I love what i've seen from the pre-game cams from the grogans as well they were laughing they were chatting it up and just messing about absolutely love that and the famous ground zero fade kick of coming through as well they're able to get some attacking pressure from Amphis. he scored that before but not in this instance Shores with a phenomenal read over where that play was going and bumps it away dude he didn't just save that ball he cleared it to the other side of the pitch and gave the grogans a chance to now attack rogans have come into this one with some ferocity to put it simply I, dude, I don't know what it is. I'm expecting at some point we'll have a read on a team where, you know, oh, yeah, that's expected. That's exactly how we thought they would play. It's been not even a minute and a half, and already the Grogans no. are defying our expectations. And just to explain the implications to everybody watching, if Ground Zero drop out here and lose against the Grogans, that's not the end of them just yet. That would still mean that Riot have to get top two so they have to take a win tomorrow and that would secure them if i'm correct which i'm pretty sure i am ground zero though they just don't want to leave it up to fate they want to take advantage into their hands express almost got bumped into that double and yeah, they really do want to try and control their fate here take a win in this best of seven and secure themselves that chance at sweden here and my oh my is it an incredibly close game so far only a single goal has been scored through two minutes of play and it was an early one from the grogans that came out of nowhere cross court shot since then it's been all ground zero and they finally find a goal to show for it tied up with three minutes remaining tiny asterisk at what i just said if ground zero drop out here and blah 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 right get second that would mean it's a tied in point so they have to play for whoever makes it through now that's the side that's set in stone the grogans versus ground zero it's basically a complicated start of the game with a few seconds or a few minutes less my word looking at the like stats that we've just been sent over here about what the different implications for how this series mixes up i uh, have further uh, sort of i don't know what is it respect i guess for direct and his ability to be a statistician for rlcs here the dude has put in his work and to see just the little bit of stats that we're trying oh. to process here no oh my oh my no stats needed on this one this is pretty clear cut and dry ground zero find their second Torso's great pace and nobody challenging you. Know, it's got to be tough to challenge. We get demo by Amphis almost jumping in front of his own pass off. Grand Zero, they find the lead and this always directly tricks my brain into thinking, oh yeah, no, okay, that's GG. Grand Zero, they found the form. Grogan's over. Absolutely not. Grogan's have been showing form. They have been showing opportunities. I think they just need to try and match the pace of ground zero 100 percent agreed right now it feels like ground zero are getting a lot of empty free space here look at torsos taking about what let's call it five six seconds before eventually a grogan's player does attack them that's the issue right now is ground zero seem like they have found their confidence again it was a shaky start after an early grogan's lead but since then ground zero have been controlling this game in and out the question is whether or not the grogan's are going to be able to refine some of that control here for now they're just trying to find a way out of their own half zen will find that way he'll get booming clear but will they find a follow-up not really zen just kind of chases the ball centers it to ground zero and now they'll start another attack and the grogan's panic starting to set in here hyferia the, the panic is starting to set in well it's fine you've 90 seconds you need to just play this one out another demo on the back end ground zero they're just showing their uh, existing form where they just demo heavy and break through that way mess up the rotation completely but well, ground zero they said it in the interview before the show even started they were surprised at how they were slacking and not necessarily their opponents being great but they're not slacking anymore 
it's been a little while for Ground Zero. Even they will admit that they are not necessarily playing to the form that they were expecting. The good thing is now they've had two regionals to try and regain that form. And in my opinion, I think Ground Zero are getting back to that form. The question, is that peak form going to be enough to take down the top four teams here in OCE? The Grogans are not one of those top four teams. I'll be the first to admit it, but they are a threatening one at that. And if they can perform like a top four team, they could get the upset. But I don't think it's going to happen here in game number one. A fourth goal. Ooh, not going to find the back of the net. Their great save out of Shores is going to keep it out. But with a minute remaining in a two-goal deficit, I'm looking like, it's looking like, excuse me, Ground Zero are going to take this first game, and Grogan's are going to have to battle this back in the latter half of the series. They're going to have to battle back, and that's always so tough. Against Ground Zero, it sets the tone of the better team, or the, the upper dog being... Indeed, the favorite and showing it on the pitch as well as the fourth one lands. The Grogan's, they're smiling though, hopefully, and hopefully they were able to regain. I'm hoping so here. I don't think that they're out of this one. It's not the first game that they were hoping for here. A four to one scoreline, I think is the most dominant game one victory you've seen so far. So it's definitely not what we were hoping for out of the Grogan's. But the fact they get a goal, the fact that they stay in this game and do show some threatening offenses against Ground Zero is a massive thing for this team. And I do have to also reiterate something we were talking about. This is a new team here the Grogans have had some roster changes to where now they are playing with a trio including Zen so yeah maybe they're not gonna be able to find the result they're hoping for here today but the fact that they are able to get here prove that they can still play at the top eight even with a roster change that's a big result for the Grogans and hats off to them to put it simply certainly a game number one only gone though from Grand Zero sure they might have taken the victory but let's remind ourselves of who the first scorer was and that was the Grogan's there's potential and all different merch as well on the side of Grand Zero not rocking the usual jerseys I like that though it's clean you can see that I like the I don't know if you can see that here no definitely not gonna see it there but look GZ in the end of the zero and that oh that's nice oh, it's clean smart. clean clean mm -hmm. jerseys here no, I, I have a theory I have a theory I, I saw I saw a shirt underneath one I have a theory if they make it through they're gonna be ripping it off <laughs> as soon as they've confirmed themselves for the major I show the jersey underneath that's just the plan at the end of the weekend. You see uh, just Torsos <laughs> stands up as he gets that final goal and just rips his jersey wide open. Honestly, that'll be the most entertaining part of the weekend if they're able to manage that. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen, though, at this point, because the reality is, is that Ground Zero, it's a great first game, but they've still got a lot of competition ahead of them, and heck, they still have a series ahead of them. The Brogan's not out of this one by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, need to keep themselves in it, though. We saw an early pause by Team Errols. I am not going to recommend the same to Grogan, <laughs> but make sure you pull the handbrake quickly as well. Make sure that you get to it in time instead of letting it get out of hand. I think the Grogan's, if they don't call it after game two, if they do lose it, that might already be it. Reverse sweeping Grand Zero. That's not going to be on the platform. I don't know if anybody has ever done that against uh, against Ground Zero, in my opinion, there. Not at least in a best of seven result. I think that Team Bliss was able to do that yesterday, I want to say, in that best of five, but not 100% on that one, so don't take my word for it here. But it doesn't really matter if someone has done it against Ground Zero before. Yes, it's not going to be... Have. Oh, I did get that. So, see, that's not going to be an Smart. easy scenario no matter what, though. Even if it has happened before, we've seen history means nothing today. Everything has gone up in the air. I think Grand Zero, they're also mainly battling against themselves, the nerves and everything else are looking at this game currently. So much implication, you just want to be taking matters into your own hands. Muck does do so with this, a play, pinch it down to the other end. Should be caught by Torsos, indeed it is, whips it up high, Amphis with a double commit. But well, you're allowed to double commit if you rip over a shot like that, it's cleared out to the side, but it brings such suffocating pressure for Grand Zero that Grogan's might have to fold. Rogan's unfortunately on the back heel here and you knew this was going to happen you called it yourselves overwhelming pressure starting out this game 30 seconds into this one and ground zero right back to the same game plan as in game number one great stuff for Grand Zero and they keep on getting into the groove early where the Krogans as soon as they have to fight back that's where I draw the line of this is very this is likely to happen or this is possible to be happening oh, oh my word Amphis Am <laughs> I, I don't even want to try and follow that one up. You basically capped it off perfectly there. Unfortunate play for Ground Zero, but uh, I, I mean, a goal's a goal, I guess. 
And they'll take it. I mean, uh, uh, we've got comments for us. They directly go back to that fake kickoff. I wonder when it, somebody's going to spot it and try and absolutely destroy them on the after kickoff scenario. But right now, it's Grand Zero still in control. Back into offense once again, but Shore is going to try and prevent that by clearing it out and giving a boomer off to Zen. He sends that right into the back where Ramphis is waiting, and unfortunately for Grogan's, it still feels like the panic is set in here. They're so desperate to get some open space that they're booming the ball too far away from them and just giving up possessions here. I think they need to be a little bit more methodical, High Fury. They have shown they can battle against this Ground Zero team, but if they want a chance at winning this one, they need to control this pitch. And the control is really important. You see, as soon as guys are lose control, that's also where they start losing the grip of the game. Rogans to the center. Muk tries to bump Torso, but Torso has way too much momentum going into that. Even if he did get bumped, probably would have been able to shake it off. Given a lot of space, Express is still Muk down the left flank. Zen takes a closer look to him and the net and doesn't make it past Torso's. It's still Grogan's up into the attack. I love seeing this from them. Well, now we counter-attack and this is also something they have to be prepared for. Mock to make a heavy tap into the center it goes, but Zen clears it away in Grand Zero. They can't go for balls that you have to expect Grogan's and will clear. And Grogan's doing a good job on defense here. It is a little bit of an awkward play out in the corner, but luckily enough, they'll be able to get it past midfield and get another offense started. But I need them to stay on offense for a little bit longer here. They've shown that they can handle this defense. The offensive prowess of Ground Zero really isn't surprising them, but now it's time to show that they can also get it done on offense as well. Double commit there from Ground Zero should open up some space for a counterattack from the Grogan's Express is going to try and cut that off. A matter of fact, he's actually going to cut off the offense altogether. Again, Grogan's break out of their half, but they stay on offense for all of about five seconds. It's just really short-lived. We have seen it earlier today, and it is possible to make it work, but then every single counterattack needs to be so deadly, so lethal, with a lot of venom behind it. So you can't let Amphis score this. Amphis really in this game. That would have been a short target. I think he got saved. Oh my, it's short, Whoa. actually. No way, short. Oh my, also my entire story, and it's worth it. Oh, that would have been something incredible there. Had that one just dropped into the back of the net there from a redirect, it would have been beautiful. It would have been a heck of a way for the Grogan's to get some momentum in their favor, but instead, they're going to have to retry here with two minutes remaining. And like we said, this is kind of a must-win game for the Grogan's. It's not necessarily, but if you give two games to the good for ground zero, that's going to be a difficult point to try and come back from. Grand Zero, they seem a bit messy though. They, they can't quite find their find their rhythm completely. And I love to see that from the Grogans, making it awkward for Grand Zero and making them feel unexpecting of this series. Grand Zero is of course coming into this. They kind of knew what to expect, but Grogans, they're holding their own very, very well. And the Grand Zero, they can't falter here whatsoever. As soon as they give a bit of momentum to Grogans, that's where it gets scared from Grand Zero. And here's that momentum coming through Zen from an angle, and Grogans are in the lead. All of a sudden, with 80 seconds left, the Grogans find themselves a second goal. Zen, the, that's just, that's insanity. I don't know how you hit that angle, let alone put a shot on that is threatening from that angle. It's a great way for the Grogans to take a lead, but the unfortunate truth is they haven't secured the game quite yet. Ground Zero need only one goal. With 80 seconds left, you know they're going to be fighting for it. Matter of fact, Express is already going to start another offense for Ground Zero, but Zen's going to deny it. Going to try and get something out of the corner again here. He's going to, I think, go for the bump on Amphis after not making the contact he was hoping for, but maybe the follow-up instead can find the back of the net. Off the bar and out, and try as they may, the Grogans not finding the curtains here on game number two. It's going to be tough to play in the playstyle that I'm going to highlight, but I feel like if the Grogans are able to whiff some balls here and there, where obviously it's it's tactical where they don't give up on defense, but it makes it awkward for Grand Zero, so they can't properly read the play. That's going to be their take to victory. Make it awkward for Grand Zero, and also look at back at yesterday. There was a lot of var variety in the series of one game, be it the final game being a one goal game, first one as well, but the second one was a dominating victory, six to one for Grand Zero. Yeah, that's the thing about this one is that Ground Zero, when they do find that momentum, they really start to run with it which is why this is such an important uh -oh. game for the Grogans yep. is because they needed to try and not give Ground Zero that extra confidence and momentum and uh, well all of a sudden High Fury it's looking like they might have found it. Shores and Zen posing up in the exact same direction basically a train and at that point you get two for the price of one usually that's a deal you want to take and the Grand Zero is very much a do. 
It's certainly a tie, though, so Rogans, they're still in this. We need to get another goal now, though, and against Ground Zero, those are hard to come by. Short out of the defense, and Ground Zero, one final ditch effort to try and end this in regulation. Ampis, up sort of the solo play. Express going to be looking to continue this, and on the side with Zero Boost has to go back with Short. Nicely reads that, and that flip reset was going to happen. Torso still keeps it up. Mm, that is going to drop, and it is overtime. Here we go. It's been a while since we saw an overtime, actually. I think the last one we saw was Game 7 of our second series of the day where Riot ended up beating Renegade. So my oh my, we finally returned to that golden goal scenario. And the question is, is who takes it? We've said this before and I'll say it again. This is kind of a must win game for the Rogans. We don't want to see too much momentum in the favor of Ground Zero or they could run away with this one. And they're trying to do exactly that. Already back on offense here, pressing into the half of the Grogans and making them uncomfortable. But they need a shot to show for it. How about this one? Amphis finds this shot on target from a drop tower pass and the ground zero team will take their second victory you see it here zen going all the way to the center to try and find some boost ground zero and get the grogans locked in their own half and you see them still dialed in not giving up whatsoever they're doing a phenomenal job at not only zoning them out with demos and physical play but also just with <laughs> Stealing the boost, stealing the small pads as well. Those take three seconds to respawn. If you manage to nab them just before, that's going to be great. Yeah, this is a big thing right now to just sort of see the difference between the two teams here and understand where that momentum is starting to build from. And I think Ground Zero are starting to recognize that they do have a little bit of an advantage here. And if they can just take advantage of that advantage, as you know, as dumb as that sounds, nice. they're really going to be able to, <laughs> well, take advantage of the series. Hi, Perry, take it away from me before I say the same word a 17th time take advantage of your advantage <laughs> and the advantage in this advantage so right now the grogans they're getting taken advantage of by ground zero enough advantages uh, that as soon as i'm starting to struggle to say the word even that's ridiculous <laughs> it's kind of as if you say milk over and over again it, just, it turns out to be a really weird word either way moving on this has been a, a relatively weird Series, I feel like, as well, Ground Zero, they're not quite finding the rhythm. At times, it seems like it, but then Grogan's get it back. That's the big thing here, is it just kind of, kind of feels like we're not seeing that consistency at a Ground Zero quite yet. They look strong, they do look very good, but the reality is, is that if they want to be able to beat this Grogan team in an overwhelming fashion, they need to keep up this pace of play pretty much the entire five minutes. I like the aggression they showed at the last minute of the game, but they only showed it during the last minute of that game. And that's the problem the Grogan's as soon as they're caught in an awkward scenario you know ground zero are going to be coming through and punish that's just the ground zero style if you are the underdog in a series you basically have to play flawless and if we're realistic Grogan's just have not been quite doing that and they kind of still do so it's the best of sevens you have a lot of chance for improvement but a miss like that from sure it's still kind of set it up for mock it shut down early but express to keep it into the attack in half this is going a bit downhill, though. If this is scored, okay. No, it's not. If Torsos had been able to hit that angle, I'm already going to say that's the end of the series at this point. Ground Zero just looking to try and put in the possible dagger here. Because, again, it's possible for a reverse sweep against Ground Zero. Has it ever been done in a best of seven series? Literally, no. I don't think anybody has been able to do that aside from a single team in APAC so far. So it's one of these things where Grogan's kind of need to win this game, and I think they understand that here. They're out the gates firing, putting on the pressure on offense, and looking for an early goal. If they can get it, they can really set the tone here in game number three. Setting the tone is exactly what Ground Zero needs to do when Grogan's, they want to try and take that and direct the tone as well. If you let Ground Zero play their game, you're going to be in trouble. I'll state that off the get-go. That's also the case for Renegades. That's the case for anyone. Renegades, well, how they take down Ground Zero is by playing their own game, playing their own style, and a double commit like this is not going to help the Grogas whatsoever. Ground Zero looking for that counter-attack. Express infield pass to Amphis. Uh, angles this car very weirdly, and thus will not find the shot. Oh my gosh, Amphis again squandering a huge opportunity and then another one. This is your fault now at this point, Ahifira. You killed him and miss right. earlier and all of a sudden he's missed everything oh. not been able to find a single shot on target ground zero need to find some confidence here they definitely do look like the overwhelming team on offense but the fact they have not been able to hit a shot on target through almost 90 seconds of offense oh. that is not boding well for them 
sometimes you just have an off day, and I think that's the strength that Ground Zero do have is they they might have an off day, or a player might not necessarily be having the greatest time. Great infield pass, though. Express shuts it down. You have a two teammates who can capitalize and who can right your wrongs, as they say. And still, the Grogans, they're pushing every single time they've lost. They've been able to fight back in that next game directly. Mock forcing his way through. That's going to land in front of the goal. Mock tries to take control of it himself. Still a shot coming through. Express shot that down right at the root. Shorts getting the boost. And now it's only into the corner. Zen looks for the second tap with zero boost. Can't fly through. And Amphis takes control. Now all of a sudden, this is back out to midfield once again. And Ground Zero will get an offense of their own. Quickly denied by Shores, though. That's a fantastic touch. It's going to set up Zen on a 1v1. He's not able to find a shot on target. And they'll find a double commitment as well. Brogan's panicking a little bit once they find that offensive pressure. And they can't afford to do so. Like we said, this is an important game number three. With Ground Zero on a 2-0 lead, they really need to win this game to give them a chance at the series so when you see panic plays like that and double commitments that leave them in inopportune positions it's detrimental to their chances of success but luckily enough it's not going to punish them quite yet or maybe it could i might eat my words as all of a sudden ground zero look for the first goal here in game number three. Oh my oh, torsos, god what a ripper and they find it as well they're looking and they will find that's the ground zero style coming through they make their own fate and torsos that's just a great short short can't get to. Dude, he pinches it off the corner of the wall. It hits the ceiling and he reads his own pinch to shoot it top left. Oh my word. Yes. We said Ground Zero needed to find some consistency. Uh, maybe not. If they can just have pop off plays like that every once in a while, you give them the victory wholeheartedly. Well, they still have to hold on for a decent amount of time. And Grogan's, they're still pushing. They're making their presence known. Mock from distance. Amphis uh, to the side. Looks for the boost. It does get it, but will be later than Zen until that 50. Or Torsos. Zen leaves it up to Amphis. And the teammates are going to have to come and collect. And Mock out to the side. And I feel like what's happening on the side of Grogan's is they, when once they get into attack, purely because it's so hard to come by, they overcommit a bit. They do overcommit a little bit at this point, and it's that hero mentality that we've seen so many times in professional play where you start to get a little bit impatient. You've thrown so many things at your at your opponents and nothing has stuck so far. So once you get there, you get frustrated. You're trying to find something that'll work out for your team. And when you cannot, you push out of midfield. You start to get impatient. You start to break your rotations. And for the Grogans right now, they need to be very careful. The pressure is very clearly building. It's double commits like that on repeat right now. And they just cannot afford it. They need to play very carefully in this last minute of play. Otherwise, they need a reverse sweep against the number two two team in OCE. <laughs> Good luck. And that's all I've got to say. I, I think your big chances are right here in this game. These final 30 seconds, you have to make them work more. Attempts to do so. That's a free ball. Almost free ball for Zen. Pass it off to the back. But Amphis prepared for it. Torsos look for the counter. And another one into the back of the net. We'll bury this game. But that is not into the back of the net. That's off the pose. It's short. Look for the counter attack. 1v1 against Express. Couldn't really go another way. Express and avoiding the bump. Clearing it away. Now, guys, here we're up to the play. Oh, all of a sudden, they almost have another goal here a possible dagger in game number three but they don't need it because they will find the follow up mm -hmm. instead express puts it off target and all of a sudden the grogans have a chance shores keeps this up off the backboard amphis by himself needs to clear this out and will do exactly that zen oh he's gonna keep it up okay he somehow has this he's got to flip in his tank no. he's not gonna use it he'll pop mm -hmm. it high instead tours off by themselves light touch to express and he's just gonna drop this one down smart moves yeah. out of the corner there and ground zero will secure themselves game number three in a rather narrow fashion. Oh boy, they're, they're on the side of Grand Zero as well, coming away with the skin under their teeth, I almost want to say. Even though they're winning, it's not necessarily been as commanding in the way that we might have thought it would happen. They're playing a great game on the side of the Grogans, but that's the thing. A great game against Ground Zero, simply not gonna cut it. I mean, that's one of the things we talk about a lot here is, is whenever you have a sweep where it doesn't really feel like a sweep, this is another one cold game. It doesn't feel like a sweep. The Grogans are throwing everything at Ground Zero at this point, and they're doing so with a reason here. They really do want to try and fight as aggressively as they can. This is interesting though. Ground Zero, they're gonna take the time out oh they're yeah because they're gone what oh, well, I, I yeah. can guarantee you because they they went to do something oh we're just gonna take a timeout still surprised though that the timeout didn't get called from the other side i don't know whether grand zero just d directly pulled the trigger on it or whatever happened 
But either way, we're going into a timeout, and that's going to help Grogas a bit to try and talk things through, try and get back into the groove of things. Yeah, that's a big thing here, is they really do need to try and find that rhythm, Trust, try and find some sort of momentum in their favor here, because it didn't really look like that game was ever, you know, completely out of hand. It just never looked like it was in favor of the Grogans there. Ground Zero just looked like the stronger team the entire time, and as a result, they kind of just rode that confidence to victory. That confidence for Grand Zero is so hard to try and get out of their hands. They've had a dominating seasons, or they've had dominating seasons, not thus far, even though they're still second seed pretty much every single time, or, well, literally every single time. And if they make it yet again this time, that guarantees them a spot for the major, and this is the first step towards it. I'll tell you what, though, Juice Bandits, they're kind of in the same scenario as Ground Zero in the way that you know they can play a lot better, but it's just not coming out, and that will make for a very interesting game tomorrow. And that's the big thing here, is it still kind of feels like we're looking for that peak. I think that Championship Sunday is going to be where we start to see all of the peaks from all of these teams here. The question is, is the team we have on screen right now going to arrive there? I would be willing to wager so, considering they currently have a 3-0 lead in the series, and they need a reverse sweep out of the Grogans in order to be upset here. I don't actually think we're even getting past this game four here, unfortunately, High Fury. Ground Zero have looked strong. They look like they want to finish this one off here and now. And with another fake kickoff going in their favor, they're already on the track to do so. I always love going for the fake kickoffs, and I, I like it as well. Partly it's just a genuine strat, and also partly it, it kind of feels like their thing, and this is Torsos the thing, reading ridiculous balls. He's in a library, and he knows all the books of the top of his head. Torsos says he's been studying, that he has been trying to, you know, improve since having some, what he would call unfortunate results in the first two regionals. Uh, yeah, I, I think he has improved. I, I would dare say so. Two insane goals throughout this series, and I don't even think that they are done. Four minutes and 40 seconds left and another shot will rip on Tarian. Express not going to find the back of the net but Ground Zero not missing a beat after finding that first goal. Ground Zero, they just want to continue this momentum right now and I guess we can make the story of this is where the tactical timeout comes through. It, apart from it being probably for a reason because they literally just had to go to the toilet or something, it also does help them collect their thoughts and as soon as they got reverse swept yesterday, you don't want to have that same scenario. Just, just take a timeout. Yeah, just take a timeout here. But unfortunately, I don't know if we're even going to get to an opportunity to where we can take another timeout for the Grogans here, because all of a sudden it's two to zero. Ground Zero within the first minute have put in multiple daggers here and could possibly call curtains on this series overall. It's a little bit unfortunate because I think the Grogans are not playing a bad game. They just look nervous here in game number four. And that's exactly why I said to start. If they do lose the second game, call a timeout there. Try and mitigate that damage from the ground zero momentum. Even though the get third game was incredibly close, you just don't want things getting out of pocket. And, well, that's exactly what's going on here. Things are out of hand. The ground zero, they're taking control early on. But that being said, it's not as if this is impossible to, um, to make the comeback for the Grogu. They just need to up their play. They just need a one good goal that catalyst that spark that gives them the ignition to get back into this game every once in a while you see it some team that just hasn't really had a lot of momentum in their favor gets an insane goal out of nowhere and all of a sudden they are right back into the series i think the grogans are a team like that they need one good goal to go in their favor something to show that that organization we were talking about before was for a reason they have utilized all three players so incredibly effectively now it's time to show they can do it one more time find a goal and keep this series close Zen pushes that out wide. Let's see whether he can find a goal here. Cuts it in field and chasing in the goal will be happening as well. And then Zen arcs it with perfection. Great stuff for the Grogas to put themselves back into contention. I have heard a lot about Zen and his 1v1 abilities. And to be able to see it on display like that, my oh my, is that a fantastic goal? And that is the catalyst we have been looking for. But it's not up to us if they have found that catalyst. It's up to Grogans to recognize it and start running with this momentum. Three minutes remaining, backs against the wall. The Grogans lose this game. It is not only the end of the series, it's the end of their run in a regional number three. So let's see, can they fight this out? Two minutes and 46 seconds remaining. And the Grogan's back on attack once again. And here they were going until a massive Woo! shot down a bump in the goal, but that's actually going to help Muck. I'm not too sure how that bump went, whether he was able to evade it. Either way, they get the same, and that's the thing that matters. Passing field, Torsos look for the second tap. Express waiting, and they won't revive, so Express 
Just looking like a fool there. Grogan's currently looking a bit like a fool, but hey, it's Grand Zero that you're up against. And Grogan's, let's be real, they have been fighting the entire way through. So I want to I wanna counter my own statement and saying that I'm, I look like a fool saying that Grogan's look like a fool. That's the truth of this one, though, is that it's one of these things where all of us were kind of like, oh, it's overwhelming Ground Zero, overwhelming Ground Zero. It's not. The Grogan's have kept this close the entirety of this series, so much so that I think we've just pretty much only had one goal game. Look back at it. The only non-one goal game we had was game number one, where it was an overwhelming blood in favor of Ground Zero. Since then, the Grogan's have made the adaptations to keep this close every time. I want to see an overtime here. I want to see a win from the Grogan's. This is one of those things where this sweep does not feel like a sweep. This was way too close to call it a 4-0. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tap the brakes there, Cowboy. It's not a sweep just yet. There's still 90 seconds remaining. And the Grogan's, they still have a fighting chance. They were fighting the entire way through. And they need to be fighting here as well. Send up, feel muck up early, but it's Torso who intercepts. And that's two defenders out of the equation. I have to step up all by his lonesome muck. As Torso just jumping from every which angle, he doesn't care where the ball is, he'll jump for it either way. <laughs> yeah, I like this, this sort of in-your-face attitude right now is what's keeping this so incredibly back and forth and so incredibly tense. Unfortunately for the Grogans, though, they don't want this one tense. They want some comfort here in this last minute because they need a goal, and they need an offense at that. Pressed into their half for quite some time. Round Zero looking to close this one out with a two-goal lead. They won't find it instead. They'll find themselves back on defense here, but only for a short time. Ooh. Express and Amphis can there to try and make one of the weirdest passing plays I've ever seen. Somehow it's going to turn into an offense though, Hyperion, with about 30 seconds left. Uh-oh, I was going to say, they can't afford an offense here because Grogan's need a goal. Now they need two. Down by two with 34 left. And you know Torso's, he's not going to be barking. He's biting every single time. You can't be faking it out like that. Sure, you have to go for the play. I see what he was trying to do to get past the player for free, and you have to take risks, but I'm not too sure whether that one was it. No way they go for the Spanish kick of it. It's 3v3, okay. They, they go for it. That, that's that's a fact, but it hasn't worked out. It actually it has a counterattack like completely against them as Grogan's have an opportunity. Sure, can he convert it? Give this team a chance, but off the post. Ah, oh, that one hurts. There's no two ways about it because not only is that going to be the last attempt we see from the Grogan's here, it's going to be the nail in the coffin on this game. Had they hit that one, they could have gotten another kickoff goal and forced an overtime, but all of a sudden that opportunity is out the window and the Ground Zero team will have taken this one overall. Props to the Grogan's. They gave a heck of a fight here, but at the end of the day, there can only be one winner and the former number two spot in both of our first two regionals have found themselves back in the semifinals yet again. This time, with some unfamiliar faces, though, Hyferia, this is going to be an incredible semifinal tomorrow. Well, I'm already looking forward to tomorrow, but before that, obviously, this series is still <laughs> happening. Grand Zero, they were able to take control, but I am already also looking forward to tomorrow. I'm not really liking how they played just yet. Sure, they mm. swept. Sure, they won. I hmm, I just have, have a lot of doubts at their misses. I don't know how it looked from your perspective, Max. Look, uh, but before I get into my thoughts on all this, I fear I have one question. Who did you like at the end of the day? Who were you impressed with at the end of the day? Because let's <laughs> take that step back and look over everyone. Mm. Everybody looks shaky. You don't right. have three series go seven games without, you know, some oopsie moments. And uh, yeah, Ground Zero didn't look the cleanest, but at least they got the job done in four. That's, that's what matters in the end. I, I think Riot, they looked amazing today, but it's just that those tiny inconsistencies, and especially with all the implications, I want to see perfect play. I'm, a, I'm very yeah. critical when it comes to whatever game you're playing. I, I might let that shine through too much, but still, there, there's perfections that you can be making in Grand Zero. You have to do so if you want to go to that major, and if you go to that major as well. Exactly. What happens on that next step, assuming Ground Zero makes it? Look, I do agree with you, and I think Bass probably would as well. We saw today Ground Zero can bleed this easy run, this one more series to get through. Now we know it's going to be against Juice Bandits. It doesn't look as surefire locked in as it did before. 
no not even close at this point it's one of these things where i've been saying this the whole time you've been talking about how you don't necessarily agree on this one and a lot of people have been saying but i don't think that ground zero have the grips on this region that they used to at this point and i think that if they want to get that grip back whoa, whoa, whoa. they need to grind whoa. i think that they're still a top team but they need to grind that was not what I was saying before. What I was saying before is that they can become that dominant team again, and it'd be silly Ooh. not to assume they can hit the same peaks that they hit before. And someone who agrees with me is going to be join us, joining us right now. Of course, <laughs> it will be Torsos it's coming right on in. Torsos, congratulations on that victory. One step closer to the land. But my question for you is why do you hate fun scenarios? Because everyone else went seven <laughs> games today, yeah. but then you come through, mm -hmm. do it in four, make it look Look easy why do you have to play spoiler today i don't know the whole region's poo in the bed man so we're obviously the best team at the moment i guess so we'll just follow our series and win who against whoever's in front of us everyone else can lose to terrible teams and we'll just we'll just sweep <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you just, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure you just said that Renegades lost to a terrible team. So calling Riot a terrible team is a bold move in itself. But man, oh man, I like the confidence we're seeing here, Torosauce. This is what we were hoping from you, my friend. And now I have to imagine that confidence is back. You guys move into the semifinals. For the first time this entire season, there is no Renegades going into the semis. Do you see yourselves as the favorites to take this regional now? I mean, obviously. Like, we, we, there's no way we're going to lose the regional. I don't, do you see Bandits just went to game seven with no one? And like, what do you mean? <laughs> so like, clip so it, easy. clip it, and maybe ship it later. We gotta have this ready. If 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 it does end up happening, we've gotta have this ready. But right. obviously, you're very confident. I think that shines through plenty. Are there still for international competitions? What adjustments are you still looking to make? Because I think at the start you were a bit surprised at your own slack instead of necessarily Renegades being good. So what are you? What have you been improving on? Oh yeah, well, we've been grinding a ton the last few weeks. We were obviously awful in the first two regionals, and I think we brought it back a little bit. We're still not at a hundred percent, definitely. But um. You know, well, after we make the major this weekend, we'll be, you know, continuing that grind. Hopefully get some good practice in before the major. Yeah, even better. Kind of took exactly where I wanted to go with this next question already. Obviously, expectations and confidence saying you're going to win. You're going to continue your streak of every single land, not one missed. How important, though, do you feel like it would be for the team to get that international experience, to continue this trend of grinding and practicing hard against other international opponents? And where do you see the ceiling then as a result for this Ground Zero lineup? I think it would be pretty huge for us. Amp's obviously never been. Uh, we haven't had any international experience for two years, so uh, like the region's probably pretty far behind. So the the more practice we can get in, the better. And uh, we're going to be, you know, looking to improve a ton when we go overseas. All right. Well, last question before I do send you off, because it seems like you're in a mood to shoot straight from the hip. When you go international, because that's established, that is a given, which team are you going to beat that's going to turn some heads? Who is Ground Zero going to upset over in Sweden? I don't mean to be bold, but I've been NRG twice at Worlds before, so I'll do it again. <laughs> Definitely, 100%. There we go. I can't see us losing. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Are you ready, NRG? Ground Zero is coming. Thank you very much, Torsos, for this interview. Go get yourself rested up and ready for tomorrow. One series away from punching in that ticket and possibly the number one seed as well. Yep. Catch you, Matt. Uh, he, is, he is keen. He is hungry for it. Absolutely. I mean, oh, yeah. how can you not be confident, though, from Ground Zero's perspective where today went? I, I did mention to you, Hyperia, they're the only team to go 4-0. They're the only team to get through clean. They have to be thinking like this regional is 100% theirs for the taking. This is this is where my analytical brain comes in. I saw a few cracks. Do they see that themselves? Uh, what I do love, though, is th that they're abiding by the rule of trash talk. And if you're going to trash talk, <laughs> do it beforehand so you can also do it afterwards. If you're only, only going to be talking trash afterwards, that's just a bit weak. But Torchels, he came in both both legs on the on the tackle. <laughs> 
He's ready for I, it. He I, wants I, to be back on top. I think that's just <laughs> how it's all lined up. It is now time for Ground Zero to reclaim <laughs> that crown. However, that's not the only top of a mountain we're looking to ascend to because there was also our top plays of the day. And a little bit different this time around for our number three play. It's not as much well of a winning goal this time. It was coming from the losing side. It was, of course, that save from Finn coming through against Renegades right there. The reason why this one was so big, it kept them alive and it led to what was an amazing upset. That being said, we still saw some great goals coming from the Renegades. The late reset out of Fever gets the number two spot. They were bumped around at first, was able to recover. This was also right after an amazing save Fever was able to make as well. Really did everything in one play. And speaking of one play, Take a look at this one coming from for Kidden. The angle on that spike from Super Locky in game six to really put that one away and start punching that ticket to game seven, which we all know how that one went down for Kidden. Able to go on and beat the Dire Wolves as well. It was a day of upsets, a day of great saves. And it's only the beginning in a sense that said, we're also already at the end. One day left, four teams remain, and we're gonna be crowning a new regional victor, Bass. Who do you think it's gonna be? Oh boy, this is an interesting one. Uh, listen, if I were a betting man and I'm playing this safe, you're saying ground zero. The fact of the matter is that they've made the finals twice in a row. They're slated to be able to make their third, and at that point, without the Renegades being who they're gonna find, they should be able to take it. But I'm not going to save them. I'm going to keep with my upset. I put my faith in them earlier today, so I'm going to keep my faith there. Riot Gaming look like they want this. They not only want a shot at that major, they want a regional title. Look, I, I have a simple, simple scenario idea, and democracy is very much a thing, so I say we vote for it. <laughs> Take some points off of Ground Zero Game and have Riot Gaming versus Ground Zero in the final, and winner goes to the major, eh? Ooh. Ooh. That's a, that's a fun way to settle it. Maybe we'll see them in the final, but if that is the case, it will already be done and dusted. Look, we're going to figure out whether or not Ground Zero is going to the major straight away because that is going to be our first game tomorrow. So make sure you are here as this stream starts. Ground Zero versus Juice Bandits will be kicking us off. And then, assuming the unlikely happens, assuming things continue to be a little bit crazy here in Os, Riot Gaming will have their shot. Of course, if Ground Zero does win, that game still does get played as well maybe with a little less of the implications that said it's about that world's final implications as well riot their first chance to make it to a regional final they're still going to be hungry for it and looking to really solidify themselves as a top three team in the region it's gonna be interesting i really don't really know if they've I don't want to say that they haven't solidified themselves there yet, but the thing is, is that this regional has thrown everything from the last two regionals out the window here. Renegades are not in the semis. Forkidden have beaten Dire Wolves, and Juice Bandits have finally made a top four. I don't think we can really further emphasize how insane these quarterfinals have been, if, if not for the fact that we went to, what total was it? 25 games of a possible 28? That's mm -hmm. insanity. Yeah, if only Torsos didn't ruin being... our fun. If Not only Torsos <laughs> let that one go seven. He specifically said no. He doesn't no. care about kindness day either. Yeah, exactly. It was inter <laughs> like, that was he came in chatting. <laughs> oh, he was chatting grease. Like, oh, what? my word. He what? came in here and just tearing everybody down. What a terrible <laughs> representative of international kindness day. I do have to agree. Look. <laughs> oh my god. I and I do disagree to an extent with a lot of the torso just like I don't think there were any bad teams today that made it through. All of them earned their spot in one way or another. Team Eros, that's gonna be one I'm gonna be watching in the future. Gus, so close to getting like it, it was interesting when you looked at those top three plays, you almost could have had the top three Gus plays as a subset as well. Those three <laughs> double touches in a row he hit. I'm gonna have my eyes on that team moving forward. Not to mention Riot's not a bad team by any stretch. They're still gonna be looking competitive and if for Kidden has finally got that sort of coin flip mentality off their shoulder. It'll be interesting to see if they can make that run. Oh, it'd be extremely interesting. Honestly, I know I'm, you know, banking on Riot. I think that they've got a lot of momentum. Ground Zero are the safe pick here. Juice Bandits finally find some momentum. If Four Kidden win this, I don't know how. I, I don't think I could be any happier here. It'd be awesome to see a team <laughs> that has been battling to try and find some consistency win a regional in their first split. I don't think I can, like, I, I, we can't overhype that. It would be absolutely incredible. 
that could, Whichever that could way work. you go tomorrow with oh, yeah, the matchups yes. in. Counting is hard. He didn't pass primary school. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, first um, season. <laughs> first one in this season, all right? First yeah, one in this true, season. True, 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 true. <laughs> A lot well, whichever of way of the bracket you go tomorrow, it, it's going to be decided directly, I feel like. Yeah, it is going to be. I'm with you on that. I think we could see a lot more decisive games tomorrow, but we're going to have to wait for tomorrow. Now, here in Oceania, I will be back for Bass and Hyferia. This was their last stream for the fall region, so we're going to be saying goodbye to our international friends. It'll be Yummy Cheese Man as well as Jake joining on this desk, but we're still going to be showing love to our international friends. We're going to be going to Apex South right now as they're in the midst of their own quarterfinal series. That's going to be a lot of fun, so do stay tuned. Do keep watching Rocket League. And until tomorrow, I'll catch you out there on that pitch.